Hey guys, today I'm going to be reviewing the glorious Model O gaming mouse. You either play on controller, keyboard and mouse, and some even on phones. But either way, you have a setup. Or if you're a gamer, you'll most likely have a good gaming setup if you have been in the gaming scene for a while. If you have just been on console and you're switching to PC, the glorious Model O is a perfect mouse for you at the price of £50, ranging up to £70. Now I'm going to show you why you should get this mouse. I forgot to mention, but all the way throughout this video is people playing Fortnite with a glorious Model O. Well first of all there are five different colours, pink, glossy black, matte black, glossy white and matte white so you can get the right colour to match your setup. Not only that but this mouse only weighs 67 or 68 grams, the matte finish weighs 67 grams and the glossy finish weighs 68 grams but either way you won't be able to tell the difference between one gram. Also the matte coloured mouses are not as slippery as the glossy version when your hands get sweaty. All the different colours of the mouses have all the same part and the reason why it's better for your mouse to be lighter is because it's easier to move and faster. Another huge difference with this mouse compared to the cheap low quality mouses ranging around the price of £20 have laser sensors so when you try to move your mouse quick the sensor can't catch up and it stops you from looking around fully and it can't keep up with fast jolting movements whereas the Model O has an optical sensor which is way faster and will last a lot longer. This mouse also comes with RGB lights on the inside of the mouse's shell. Glorious has their own software where you can change the lighting modes and more. I will touch on that later. The only two downfalls this has is it makes the mouse heavier than it would be if it had no RGB. Second reason is because there is a hexagon shaped cutout all over the mouse which does make it lighter. But the RGB shines through the holes and can sometimes shine in your eyes if you're sitting at a slamping position. But luckily the RGB isn't really bright to the point where it hurts your eyes. Just that it can be annoying sometimes. The scroll wheel feels really nice and also has RGB on it. There's also a DPI button which changes the speed of your mouse. To make it easier to remember, it's basically the mouse's sensitivity. On the left side of the mouse, there are two side buttons which can be used as keybinds in games or going back and forward a step while browsing on the internet. On the mouse, they don't have much branding on it which is good. It has their logo on the left side of the mouse and their brand name on the right side of the mouse but it's only small writing. It is a ambidextrous mouse, so if you are left or right handed you can still use it either way. If you are left handed it's a bit weird to use the side buttons as they're only on the left side of the mouse. Also, the feet on the bottom of the mouse are made by Glorious and are almost as fast as the Hyperglides. These make it feel smoother and glide against the surface better. It also helps there is a lightweight cable that makes the mouse also move faster. The actual packaging seems pretty good and I can't think of any complaints about it. Now onto the mouse's software, you can change what the DPI speed is for each colour and you can change the colours of each DPI too. The RGB has different modes and different colours. You can also change the polling rate which I have just left on default as it doesn't really make a difference. Anyway that's all I have for this video today. This is my first video and hopefully you can stick around and hit the subscribe button. I put a lot of effort into this. I'm going to lead you on to a video by a YouTuber called Light and he shows you the mouse's software. So that's it from me. Thanks for watching and peace. So you can set macros, you can show you each button, um, you can make your own profiles for each one, you have three profiles, you can add more if you want to, and then and this is where all the fun stuff comes in, so your DPI, you can change the color, just double click, change it to whatever, um, I have mine so that's white, click OK, and that's what the color is set to, and oh, that's what the DPI was, so yeah, you can select what DPI you want toggled and what you don't want toggled. So, let me see, you can set it to this one, I just changed it, but you can deselect these and only have this one set. Um, you can change the DPI to 400 or above, depending what you want, and that's it. Then you can go on to lighting and you can change each color. I can't, I should have shown you guys, I forgot to, but you have a whole bunch of options from breathing their own their own style to seamless breathing breathing single color breathing single color the tail when the lighting goes from the tail to the front tail to the front a rave this flickers with like two random colors we wanted to it's pretty cool wave it's just a wave of colors like um like a keyboard would have and then you could turn off the led so not that one i had okay there you go no, I ruined it. Oh well. But so yeah, 
now for that mouse parameter i forgot what this is lod i forgot but polling rate is leave this as it is you can change it however but this is just a uh, how fast it responds where your click is how many so 1000 thousand hertz is like it respond it receives your computer receives your clicks like in two milliseconds i think that's how it works i'm not sure you can look this up but just leave it at a thousand because that's what every mouse is set at now like that's the best you can have debounce time this is advanced yes it is but i can explain to you right now so debounce is what the milliseconds between your clicks so they won't double click so let's say you have ghosting issues later in the future and your mouse wants to double click this makes it so then there's a space between each click so then it won't double click within that second you click it so let's say you click it and it takes two milliseconds for it to receive your computer to receive the click but then it double clicks at the same time so it clicks two times in that same millisecond and it makes you double click so then afterwards if you were to put this on for like it starts at 10 it was at 10 i think yeah it was at 10 and then i put mine to four because i don't care about double clicks because it's a new mouse but you have this option of making this so then it'll be like 16 milliseconds after every click or up to four milliseconds after every click and you can just play around with that whatever you like it's not really i've never had an issue of having double clicks so i can't say in my own opinion but it's up to you guys to figure this out and do what you want but it's a good feature that they have this and that's really it